kids, it is Sophia here, and welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking. Today, we are going to be making another dessert, and this time we are making loaded cookie bars. So if you go to week three in your book, you're gonna have the recipe lined up, all the instructions lined up, but before you do anything, I need you to go grab a parent and walk through this with them because there's some cooking involved, obviously. We don't want you to get hurt. So this is a family activity. It could be a little bonding moment, you know? So we are going to get started. So if you look in your book, it says for step one that we need to get our eight inch baking pan. So you should have something that looks like this. And then we are going to take a piece of tin foil and we are going to put it in there. So, You're going to want to put it in so that you have some sticking up over the edge. Alright, so it should look something like that. And then we are going to grease the pan. So if you have cooking oil or the butter that it told you to use, then you can go ahead and put that in there. So I'm just going to do a quick spray. Pan is dirty, so I'm gonna put that to the side. And the parents, you are going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, all right? So the next step, we are going to take our eggs, our brown sugar, our melted butter, and vanilla, and we're gonna mix it up. So I'm gonna measure out those ingredients real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I measured out my one cup of light brown sugar, I have one egg here, I have my vanilla, and then I have a half a cup of butter. So I'm going to put that in the bowl and mix it all together. So brown sugar first. Make sure you don't put any shell in it because that would be gross. And then my vanilla. So you're going to want to use three teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, we're going to mix it up. It looks pretty weird at this point, but I promise it's going to taste real good. Alright, so now we are going to measure out our flour. So we need one cup of all purpose flour. Dump that in. And we're going to add a little bit of baking soda. Alright, so that is all mixed together. There's no more little circles or anything. It's pretty good. So next, this is the parent's job. We are going to chop up a bunch of cookies. So I would say like 18 Oreos, just to make sure that this is actually a loaded cookie bar. So I'm going to chop up some cookies and I'll be right back. So I have all of my Oreos chopped up, so we're just going to dump those right into the cookie. together as best as you can. Alright, so once you get it mixed in there, it should look something like this. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. We are going to grab that pan that we had earlier that we put the aluminum foil on and we're going to pour it in there. Once you get it on the bowl, you want to 
spread it around a little bit and make it even. Okay, and of course this isn't sweet enough, so we are going to take our M&Ms and we are going to sprinkle those on top. Thank you. 